7 p.m. private chat with Kunimai and Oikawa. Hey Captain. Kunimai texting first. Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine, I just... I wanna ask something. Okay, spill. Well you helped the couples in our team get together right? Yeah, why? Well, you mm. You want my help with kinda itchy. How? Well with the way you two act lovey-dovey it's kinda obvious. So, you wanna confess to him? Yeah, but... But you're afraid he doesn't like you back correct? Yeah. Oikawa not believing the BS he just read. Kunimai sweetie, he messages you every morning, makes sure you eat, walks with you to school, sometime holding hands, gives you sweets and is extremely considerate of you. If that doesn't mean he likes you I don't know what does. But. But there's something else right? I know you, you're not that dense, so what's the problem? I'm scared. Elaborate. What if we end up together and I'm not good enough for him? He's so sweet and considerate of me but for how long? I'm not really good with showing emotions and it might affect us. Kunimai darling, he puts in effort to express his feelings, not because he expects something in return. He knows you're not that affectionate and that you're not good at expressing emotions but he still stays with you. But that's just him being a good friend, friendships and relationships are different. What if he changes when we get together? Kunimai my sweet child just confess, and if you're still worried about not being enough just give it your all and hope that it is. Okay. I'll do it. Thanks mom I mean captain. Oika being the supportive mother he is. No problem. Good luck. How do I confess? I. Well try telling him in person. Okay. IRL 6.30 AM the next day With Kunimai Kunimai woke up to the ringing of his phone, it was kinda itchy Hey Kunimai Kunimai Kunimo, wake up, we have practice I'm up Good Hurry up and get ready Kunimai lazily got out of bed and headed to the bathroom to do his morning rituals He headed downstairs and noticed his mom already setting the table for breakfast he sat down and began to eat. Once he was done, he quickly put his plate on the sink and grabbed his bag and headed towards the door. Bye, mom. Bye, sweetie. Kunimai opened the door and the sight of Kinda Ichi smiling at him greeted him. Good morning. Morning. Ready to go. MMHM. Good. Let's go. Kunimai walked closely to Kinda Ichi as he listened to the other rant about practice and schoolwork, with Kunimai adding a few side comments here and there. The two made their way towards the club room to drop of their bags and change into their jerseys. When they entered the gym, the sight of Maki and Matson laughing loudly at a blushing Iwajami and Oikawa greeted them. What happened? Hanameki-san and Matsukawa-san stole Captain's phone and read his and Iwajami-san's messages. Yahaba said walking up to the two with a volleyball in hand. Kinda Ichi was about to say something when he was interrupted by Oikawa. Maki and Matson extra laps around the gym. The rest, do your usual routine. Hey that's abuse of power. Do I look like I care? It's okay Maki, it was worth it. You. Kunimai walked slowly towards one of the benches to do some quick stretches, totally blocking out the loud third years. He thought about how he should confess to Kinda Ichi later and already formed a plan. I'm gonna do it after afternoon practice. Afternoon practice. Oikawa had gathered all the members together, saying he had an announcement to make. You're announcing you have an announcement. Do not quote Kardashian spoofs at me right now. Oikawa said, glaring at Maggie. As I was saying, me and the other captains talked it out and we all agreed to have practice matches with each other. Tomorrow we're having a match with Karasuno so make sure to get here early. Kunimai looked at Kinda Ichi who visibly stiffened hearing the name of the team. It made Kunimai worry, he knew Kinda Ichi had unsolved issues with Kagiyama and that what happened in middle school still affects him. Hey Kinda Ichi. Kinda Ichi. Kinda Ichi. Huh. 
What? Kinda itchy said, snapping out of his thoughts. Kunim Kunim I wanted to confess, but he figured it wasn't the right time yet. Kinda itchy was still too worried about the practice match tomorrow. Never mind, it's nothing. He would do it tomorrow. Eight? PM private chat with Kunimai and Oikawa. Yahoo Kunimai chan. How are you and kinda itchy? Nothing much. You haven't confessed yet. I wanted to, but. He was too worried about the practice much tomorrow. Ah, uh, Kunimai. I'm sorry, the captains and I have been planning this for a few weeks already. Do you want me to postpone it? No. I'm just gonna confess after. Okay, but tell me if you need help with anything okay. Yeah, thanks. That's right. He would confess tomorrow. That's what he thought. Sorry Kunimai, me and Kagiyama are gonna hang out a bit. Oh. Okay, have fun. I will, be careful on the way home okay. MMHM. Kunimai was happy that Kinda Ichi and Kagiyama patched things up, but there was this weird feeling eating him up inside. Jealousy. Pri Private chat with Kunimai and Oikawa. Hey Kunimai sweetie, did you and Kinda Ichi talk things out? Not exactly. What do you mean? I was gonna confess but he had plans with Kagiyama. He what? It's nothing really. Are you sure? Yeah. If you say so. But if you need help, I'm right here okay. Yeah, thanks mom. Of course sweetie. Days passed and Kunimai still hadn't confessed, Kinda Ichi was either busy with something or too distracted to even listen to him. Anxiety crept into Kunimai at the thought of Kinda Ichi liking Kagiyama. Friday came and for the first time in what felt like eternity, Kinda Ichi approached Kunimai and asked to go home together. Hey Kunimai can we stop somewhere for a sec? Sure, whatever. Great. Kunimai followed the other to a familiar park near their neighborhood, it was a place they always hanged out at. Sitting on a familiar bench near a small koi pond Kunimai watched as Kinda Ichi fiddled with his fingers. So, you don't have any plans with Kagiyama. Why? Did you miss me? The awkwardness seemed to lessen at that joke. No. Sure. But you don't have to worry about that, you'll always be my first priority. There was silence, before Kunimu took a deep breath and decided to take the initiative. It was now or never. Hey Kinda Ichi. Yes. What would you do if I told you I like you? I'd tell you I like you too. Kunimai's eyes widened before looking at Kinda Ichi who had a small blush spread across his face, his eyes all but looking at Kunima. Why you, you mean it? Yeah. Kinda Ichi said as he looked up, a soft smile plastered on his face as he lightly chuckled. I wanted to confess to you first, that's why I asked Kagiyama for advice but I guess you beat me to it. You big idiot. Kunimai said before hugging Kinda Ichi, catching the other off guard. Gained composure and hugged him back. So, wanna be my boyfriend? That sounds like a lot of work. But, sure. Kinda Ichi chuckled before hugging him tighter. God, he loved this man so much.